Everything on ERCP starts with gaining access to the duct of choice. Um, it can be very difficult to gain access or it can be relatively easy. Um, but one needs to be able to selectively and deeply cannulate the duct of interest. In a patient with a native papilla, um, I'm typically starting with a sphincter tome and a guide wire. Um, use of biliary catheters, which used to be used quite a bit in the past, is used much less frequently now, and we start with a sphincter tome. This, and the main reason is because now I have the ability to bow that instrument, and it makes it easier to cannulate. If a patient has had a previous sphincterotomy, we often start with a balloon loaded with a guide wire. After dropping into the stomach, it's a very good practice to aspirate any fluid that is found in the, in the fundus, particularly if they're, they're not intubated, to prevent that from refluxing. And now on to the pylorus. So the scope is in long position. If you can do a scout film, And if you can center that. So you can see, keep it live if you would. Um, so here's, I'm finding the pylorus. And now I'm in the duodenal bulb. And going down. And so that's called, save an image right there. That's called long scope position. And that's um, a reasonable way to find the papilla. I can see the papilla now to the left of the screen. But I'll shorten the scope. If you can keep the, the, the video on, I mean the um, fluoro on, please. And you'll see I'll go from long position to short position. And there's the papilla again in short position. And you can see the scope is, is short. But in, in this case, I, I want... Uh, uh, looking right up the barrel of, them, of the papilla. And beca again, because the patient is supine, I'm looking at my secondary monitor. My back is to the patient. And I'm ready to uh, attempt cannulation. So here I am with the, the Omnitome loaded with a Acrobat 2 wire, an 035, I believe. And the pole's going to strip the wire so I, I can control the wire. Some, uh, some people prefer long wire, others short wire. The advantage of short wire to me is that I can control the wire. And um, I really like that ability to control immediately where and when the wires advance. Can you bow, please, a little bit? So one can see there's a little dimple in the middle. I'll want to go for the upper reaches of, the, of this papilla, often with a bowed sphincter tome. If I can wiggle the tip of the catheter in, um, then I'll try the wire typically. So here I'm just wiggling a little bit until I have the wire. I'm just gently advancing the wire. And I can see that uh, the tissue is sort of pushing away, but not the, the wire is not going up the duct. So that's, that's hard enough to know that I'm not yet in the, in the duct. So after trying that, I'll continue to try to deeply engage the papilla. And there you can see it just sunk in, the, the white tip of that catheter just sunk in. So now I'll try the wire again. And the wire just went in. So we'll go floral, and if you can go to mag one, and we can see which, which duct we're in. Live, please. And you can see that wire is crossing the spine. That is in the pancreatic duct. Uh, is it on low dose? Put it on regular, if you would. All right, so I, I have several choices here. I could uh, come out and try, try the other duct. I could put a pancreatic stent in. I could do, use a dual wire technique, uh, all reasonable.